Do you remember when I said... So my X100F is now finally complete. <laughs> of course it's not. It's never complete. You think I was really happy without a soft shut up button and a sexy new strap? Not to mention this sexy square hood. <laughs> It's been a year now since I started this channel and since I have the X100F and you know I learned a lot about myself and how I shoot and this camera really helped me uh, find my groove in street photography you know. And I since then switched from a neck strap uh, to wrist strap and the reason is because I like to hold my camera in one hand because I want to be ready to take the shot. Uh, especially on the street. Uh, when I had my camera on the next strap, I always had to raise my camera and this act alone, you know, was enough for the subject to notice me. So I started holding my camera in my right hand and I always kept it here in this area, you know, always high enough so that I can take a shot really quickly. And when I see something interesting, you know, I, my camera's already on. You know, this is how fast I can switch it on. And when it's on, you know, I see the scene you see my settings, okay. And then I wait for the moment, you know, and it's not weird to wait like this, you know, it's, it's if you wait like this, then, you know, everyone expects you to take a shot. But I'm standing usually like this and I observe the scene and I see, okay, now, yeah, I will go. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I want to get a lower angle shot, then I couldn't do that with the neck strap because it's around my neck, I have to, uh, you know, go down with the neck, with the strap. Yeah, and that's why I got this wrist strap. Um, this is from Artisan and Artist. It's made in Japan and it's really well made. Um, I like the stitching, it's really good. And you know, I could have gotten a strap with this stopper thing here so that I can really tighten it up. Um, but I don't really need it because this is how I use it. You know, I just put in my hand and then suck. And one thing to keep in mind with this strap is, I think they want us to use it like this, you know, put the hand inside and then grab your camera and you have your strap here. You know, it's all fine and good, you know, it looks, looks how it's supposed to be. But the problem is because this is too stiff, I can't really reach the shutter button. So that's why I use it like this. You know, price-wise, the artisan and artist straps are always a bit on the expensive side, but you really get a nice quality strap um, with good materials and you really got to feel it to appreciate it. They have these straps in different colors. Um, I will put links in the description so you can check them out. A quick shout out to my friend Alex from Japan. He just made a what's in my bag video about his X100F accessories. So if you want to see what else you can buy for X100F, check his channel out, check his video out, send him some love. Um, he needs it. <laughs> now next we have my new square hood and I know that you guys love accessories so I'm going to talk a bit about this lens hood and this one is not from JJC it's from a company called Hauge or Hauge I don't know it's a Chinese company and you can find them on Amazon again I will have links in the description and I really like this lens hood because first of all it looks really sexy come on come on come on I know you like it too and again, this is not a cheap lens hood, um, but it's all metal, as you can hear. And yeah, I really like the build quality, the inside um, texture. Um, it's just a really well-made lens hood. Now, another reason to get the lens hood besides the sexy looks <laughs> is because I wanted to use it with a lens filter. And because I'm a bit OCD about my camera, I also got this silver UV filter here. And it matches the lens hood and the camera body. Okay, so this is my current setup. Um, I really enjoy shooting like this. It really sped up my street photography um, because I'm so fast right now. I can and again, I will put links in the description so you can check all the accessories out for yourself. And you can also check out my whole street photography kit or my YouTube filmmaking kit on kit.com. I made an X100F kit, a YouTube filmmaking kit and a personal stuff kit. And of course, there are links to Amazon. And of course, I will also get a small commission if you buy something. So if you want to support my channel, this is one way to do it. Okay, now before I leave, I have one more announcement to make. And that is, I'm going to review... 
It's the VCL X100 wide angle conversion lens. If you don't know what this is, uh, this is a conversion lens that you can screw on on your X100F and then it, it becomes a 28 millimeter. Yeah, and I'm really excited to share with you my review. I'm currently in the editing process and I really want this to be a long-term real life review, especially tailored for street photography. But I really like the dynamic feel of the 28 millimeter and at this moment I like it more than the 35. So I will keep shooting the VCL and I will go back into the crowd, so see you later. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when the new video is up. And yeah, I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye bye.